Now I want to make another guide, a vertical guide, that's going to help us line up our text and organize the information that we're putting onto this document. We want it to be a half inch from the edge, and you'll see our ruler up here is in inches, and there is the half inch. If you can't see it, you can scroll in. Just click and drag on the side ruler and drag in until the half inch, and find your text tool. Your text tool is going to have a box around it, and the box uh, is just telling you that it's going to be a free text um, wrap. So if I click here and type, then I'm going to get a text box, and it's not connected to anything. Now, if I do this again, you'll see my mouse says guide. If I click when it says guide, then that's going to allow my text to be on the guide. So it's lined up with the guide that I created. And if I were to put my words on this line, and that's what we want to do eventually, then it's going to change the mouse so it has this kind of curve line and you see the word path and there intersect if I click here then it's going to replace the line that I created instead of having the line then the text that I type is going to be replacing the line that I created we do want to type line on this line uh, but instead of actually clicking on the line we're going to type our word outside where you've got the box around your text tool and then just drag it down until it's placed on the line that I created. So go ahead and create the word and drag it down until it's lined up in the intersection of the guide and the line that you created. All right, so this is a fine font that our line has, but let's say that we want to change it. Um, we're going to go to another place, not our toolbox over here, but if you look at the top, this is called the option bar. It controls options for what you currently have selected. Right now I have a word selected, so you'll see options for um, text. Here you can change the font to whatever font that you would like and click, but make sure that if you're changing a font that has a little sidebar arrow that you need to click into that section. So I'll choose one of these, that looks pretty good. Choose any font that you want, but go ahead and change the size to 0.36.